Hi everyone, it's been a while since I've done this type of video where I talk about how to fit sound into a model um, but it's something I want to try and start doing again uh, especially when there's a popular new model out like this new Haldron Class 45 um, I've had loads of people asking me how to fit sound to it and what speakers I recommend um, and my models just come so I thought rather than just post photos like I normally do I'll do a video where I have a look at it myself at the same time um, so I've already taken the screws out just to make the video a bit quicker. Um, there's four screws. Um, you have to just tilt the bogey each way and then they're fairly easy to get out. So you can lift the body straight off. There's no wires or anything. So that comes out of the way easily. And then you've got quite a lot of space for a speaker or a couple of speakers. Um, so I'm going to look at the different options that will fit and I'll, I'll try some of them and see which sounds best as well. So, firstly, I've got a Lock Sound 5 decoder to put in here. I'm going to use the Lego Man Before sound to start with, um, but obviously there's different options and I'll probably try a few of them and probably do different videos myself at some point showing the different options. But the first one I'll try will be like Oman um, before anyway, because I know that that sounds good for a class 45. So my first thought with speakers was either the 25 by 25 by 7 so that'll fit there easily. Um, you've got a lot of wires, so it might be best to try and route these wires to the sides of this piece of plastic where you can stick the speaker but you can just stick it straight over as well I guess so I'm not quite sure how I'll do that yet the other option is a pair of the 20 by 20 which usually sounds slightly better than one of the 25 by 25 on its own um, the crucial thing is that you've got screw holes here and inside the body you've got the screw towers like the bits of plastic that stick down so you're not going to be able to put anything further forward of that point unless it goes between them but yeah two of them would sound good I think um, talking of the screw towers I do like the EM1 speaker which I've used loads of times space isn't an issue in terms of the depth and the uh, length but it won't go between the screw towers. I'll try and uh, show you here. But what I'm thinking is it's only just too wide. So if I maybe use either some sort of cutting sort of wheel or disc on my Dremel or even just use my soldering iron to make two indentations potentially I could narrow that down to fit inside the model. Um, so I think what I'm going to do now is go and try that and try a few of these speakers actually fixed in. I might just put some photos up or something um, as a bit of a slideshow just showing the various options um, and then I'll come back and uh, discuss which one I've used and why. Interestingly, one thing that I've found whilst I've been fitting the speakers is that you've got two speaker wires. So you've got a socket marked speaker here, and then you've got two wires which just go to nothing. Um, so you'll be able to connect your speaker to those if you want, or you can just remove the plug and have it connected to the decoder, whichever you prefer. Um, but if, you're, if you are going to be not using these wires, just make sure that the ends of them don't touch, because you don't want them touching anything or each other um, because it might end up causing a, a short and uh, damaging your decoder. So I've done a little bit of a test fit with the different speakers and they do all fit like I thought they would but I've decided that I'm going to use the EM1 speaker because it will sound the best out of all of them. Um, it also plugs straight into the 
little socket which I mentioned so you can just take the plug out which is there um, and then plug your, your EM1 speaker plug straight into it which makes it easy as well yeah what I've done if you can see is I've used my soldering iron which probably ain't very good for the soldering iron um, but I've used it just to melt some little indentations into the side of each um, each side of the speaker um, and that did unseal the speaker so you can tell because when you push the the passive part of the speaker down you want the cone to lift up if it doesn't you've lost the seal um, but I just put a little bit of glue in each of the little dents that I'd made and that's fine again now and again I've test fitted it uh, before I put the camera on and it fits and the little indentations do line up properly with the screw holes right so before I put the body back on everything is as it should be now it's got the speaker fitted the speakers plugged in uh, it's just held down with a bit of black tack uh, which you can get on the website as well as the decoder and the speaker if you want in it um, I'll put a link in the uh, description below but yeah, it's just a case of putting the body back on now, making sure that it lines up properly with these little indentations. And yeah, hopefully it sounds as good as I'm expecting.